What is up, everybody? Jester here, and today I gotta tell you, I was recently doing a stream over on Twitch, and I went down a massive rabbit hole over one little thing that I saw. So, uh, this video took a little while to produce, and hopefully today's the day I earn your subscription, and, uh, definitely like the video if you like what you see, but there's tons to cover. Let's get right into it. As mentioned, this all started over on stream as I was cleaning up the yard because we got meat laying everywhere, and I decided to go ahead and cook some fish for sources of vitamin C. Now, I had several that were majors, and as I looked through everything once I was done cooking, I found that there were zero major sources of vitamin C. Now, this bothered me a little bit because I specifically brought back several of the majors because they were majors, and then one of my moderates had even turned to a minor. So this was something I wanted to look into a little bit more to make sure I was getting good bang for my buck when it came to how much fish I was bringing back and what I was carrying and what I would get in return for the vitamin C level. This led me back up to my fishing hut at Pensive Pond where I wanted to catch a major source and see what we were kind of getting into here. So the first thing I did was catch a major source and then go ahead and cook it. And what I didn't know is you can actually see it showed up top there for a moment that that's going to be moderate when it comes out. But just to prove the point, when we get it, it's absolutely a moderate source. This really got me to thinking, well, if we get a major source and we eat it raw, do we get major vitamin C? And even though I'm at cooking level five and I thought, well, this could be potentially fairly safe. The answer to the question is no. The long and the short is no, you're going to get food poisoning most of the time from eating raw fish. But this is weird because I know sushi is a real thing and I thought, well, maybe salt water makes a difference. So I decided to make a trip to my second fishing hut over at Coastal Highway. The idea here is that I know millions of people in the world eat salmon as sushi every day. And in this game, I have cooking level five. So I'm thinking there's no way that this is gonna give me food poisoning, right? And after going over and catching one, we get the same warning that says it could make us sick and guess what, it does. So sorry guys, sushi is off the menu for the most part. I suppose you could get lucky and you might not get food poisoning from it, but we did twice in a row with cooking level five. But this got me thinking, we've got to set up a real science experiment here because I love game mechanics and I love tinkering with stuff in game and figuring out how things work. So that's what we did. The setup for this actual test is really pretty simple. We brought back multiple versions of moderate for whitefish, as well as multiple versions for major in whitefish, moderate and smallmouth, as well as major and smallmouth. The idea here is we're gonna track each one of these by weight and caloric intake, and then we're gonna, we're gonna cook them, and we're gonna see what they do for the vitamin C content, and see if we can find some kind of correlation that makes this all make sense. For the purposes of this test, I'm not gonna show you cooking each one individually, but here is a chart of all of our pre-weights and caloric intake. And remember, these are all moderate sources. And now that I show you the finished weights and the finished calories, there's a couple of things that really stick out to me here. Now, the one thing I wanna show you is that everything did stay moderate. So we were able to go from moderate to moderate, which is nice. But what's really weird here is after it's cooked, it actually gains calories. So when you get it, like, for example, the biggest one we had was 2.72. It's 681 calories. It came to 851. That is just 30 calories shy of a 200 calorie bump. This is really weird. Now we should probably go ahead and show you the major sources. The one thing I can tell you conclusively from this testing, and that's going to be the weight for where something on a whitefish goes from moderate to major. And that number is either 2.72, 2.73, or 2.74 because the biggest fish we caught in the moderate range was 2.72 and it stayed moderate. Whereas a major fish, the smallest one we caught was 2.74 and it was a major source. So somewhere between those numbers is where you're gonna get it. But really everything here became a moderate source regardless. So I think you're gonna have to find a white fish that gets over three kilos. I was unable to do this. The biggest thing I could catch was 2.86. And that was just about as big as I could get. I caught it three times and they all became moderate sources. So I'm not sure that a white fish is going to be a major source of vitamin C, regardless of how big the fish is, because I don't think it gets much bigger than that. As far as the moderate smallmouth bass goes, I kind of had high hopes for this test because smallmouth are typically a little bit bigger than the white fish and they have more calories. So I thought we might get some good information here. And as it turns out, our top end of 5.42 stayed as a moderate. But when we got down to 3.74, it became a minor. So somewhere between 3.74 and 4.52 is going to be the cusp of where you get to keep your moderate range. 
everything else became a minor uh, but again we did increase calories which was kind of awesome even though everybody knows that cooked food actually loses nutrients but hey it's a video game i i get it as far as the major sources in smallmouth bass this one was pretty disappointing to me because we caught fish all the way up to 6.22 kilograms and got 2,333 calories out of the very top end one, but it still stayed a moderate. So I think I can safely say that the vitamin C level that you get is not really based on caloric intake. It's gotta have to do with weight. And I went up and tried to catch a bigger smallmouth than 6.22. I was unable to do so in about eight or nine different game days. So I stayed up there forever, wasted a lot of fuel, and I couldn't catch anything bigger than that. So I, I guess it's just kind of time to make some conclusions about this mechanic. Without going back over to Coastal Highway and actually doing this with the coho salmon, which do get just a little, you know, bigger, about the same size as a smallmouth, I think I can safely say that there's probably not a way you're going to get a major source of vitamin C to fight scurvy out of fishing. But I do believe that the moderate sources are way more than enough, especially you kind of do them like I do, where you catch a bunch, you drag them back down with the dravois, and uh, you just kind of don't worry about the minor ones and you just try to keep the bigger fish you should be just fine in fighting off scurvy if you even have it turned on in the game that's the other thing i need to say about this you don't have to have scurvy on in the game but it's really really easy to combat because like i said if you set yourself up properly you're in good shape uh, i am a little bit disappointed that this is how the mechanic works you would think once you got to cooking level five that you could potentially eat raw fish since it's fish i kind of get that you wouldn't want to eat raw wolf meat or, or raw bear meat but fish is kind of a different story because that is actually something people do in real life all the time so uh i don't know just some deep dive that i got into hopefully this information helps somebody and if it does please again like the video and subscribe because i've got tons more like this coming up that i really like taking deep dives and how to do certain things in this game and uh the welcome has been extremely great for me so far so thank you guys for that but until next time we'll see you soon thanks for watching Bye.